the Ujio beheading doesn't occur in the movie, but we'd finished the shot and we'd done some really cool stuff with it. We had Ujio, the character, and the actors stand there and we had them act the scene at half speed so that everybody could understand what they're doing and get a feel for it. Then we replaced his sword with just a sword hilt with tracking markers on it and we weighted the sword hilt so that it felt right to his hand and we did the scene. And when he goes to do the, the cut, the actor whose head gets cut off, he dropped to his knees and fell face first in the mud. Then the next thing I did is we removed the actors completely except for Ujo. We got the actor's head, a prosthetic version of his head, and put it on a wooden dowel. And we let Ujo go ahead and cut the guy's head off for real. And then we had everybody step aside and had all the background extras stand in and we played it back on a monitor. It shoulders. Yeah, it bounces. Bounces down. It just said little piece underneath that we could paint that out, right? No, no, this is behind his body. Oh, so you're okay? Yeah. All right. That's good. So we got all the elements together and we morphed them together. You know, and it, it worked really well. <laughs> and the next thing we did is the beheadings that occur in our battle. And we did the same thing with Tom Cruise and he was brilliant too. It's, it's a real honor to get to be involved in something that is so deeply story driven with so many people behind the camera and in front of the camera that are hands on. And it turned out to be something that, you know, is probably gonna be the shining star of my mind's eye for the rest of my life. It's an amazing experience to have been involved.